Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's grade 10 math class. This is Radicals Part 2, Dividing and Rationalizing Denominators. We're going to talk about what that means in a moment. But the first thing I'm going to do is actually review fractions. So if you think that you can do this question, why don't you go ahead and try it and uh, fast forward, get to the answer, make sure you got it right. Uh, if not, then I'm just going to talk about even how to do 1 over 3 plus 3 over 4, a very simple fraction that we could add over here. So 1 over 3 plus 3 over 4. Uh, uh, first thing I have to do is look for the LCD. The LCD is going to be 12. 3 times 4 is 12. Um, and because they don't share any uh, factors or anything like that, so that's why it is 12. So we're going to multiply 3 by 4 to get 12. And of course, we can't get, uh, we can't just multiply by 4 in the bottom. We do have to multiply by 4 over 4, which is 1. Um, and 3 times 4 is going to be 12 as well, so that's why we're going to multiply by 3 over 3 right there, so that we get denominator of 12 here and 12 here. So 4 times 1 is 4 over, 4 times 3, 12, plus 3 times 3, 9 over 12, and that gives us 4 plus 9, 13 over 12, and we leave that 12 alone. Um, and I'm going to leave it as it is. It's an improper fraction, and that's the way I like them. So please don't change it to mixed numbers, because I will take marks off. So leave it as an improper fraction, and if I could simplify it, I would, but I can't, so I won't. Okay, so let's apply that to this information right here. Here we've got the 3 and the 4, so it's exactly the same method. We're going to use the LCD as 12, and we're going to multiply the front one by 4 over 4, and the second one by 3 over 3. And uh, so I'm just going to rewrite it out, but you can actually skip this step if you like. Root 4 times root 7 plus 1 over 3, oh, sorry, over 12, plus... 3 times root 7 minus 2 over 12. And we use the distributive property, so make sure you multiply 4 times root 7 and 4 times 1. This is a common error that a lot of people make, and you don't want to fall into that category. So 4 root 7 plus 4 plus 3 root 7 minus 6. And we could put them over the same denominator since it is the same denominator there. And then we'll simplify just like in the last lesson. So 4 plus 3 is 7 root 7 plus 4 minus 6 minus 2 over 12. Now another common mistake that people will make is to divide the, tw the 2 and the 12 right here. And if you can't, uh, if you can't do it from all of the top, if there's no common factor, then we can't divide it in the bottom. So remember, we've got two terms in the top. You can't divide the bottom. So this is our solution, 7 root 7 minus 2 over 12. Okay, so that's the first type. We're just um, adding up fractions, regular fractions with integers in the bottom. Now we are going to talk about rationalizing denominators because root 2 is not rational, it's irrational. So we want to make it into a rational number. A rational number is a number, well basically this is derived from ratio. So anything that you can define as a fraction or as a ratio, right? Because p over q for example oops, it's supposed to be q, is equal to p to the q, or 2q. So this is a ratio. So anything that can be expressed as a fraction, um, like 3 over 1, for example, or a terminating decimal, those are rational things. And root 2 is not one of those rational things. So we want to get rid of this root 2 and make it a rational number. In order to do that, we're going to multiply by the radicand. Uh, the radicand is the 2, the root 2. So we're going to do root 2 over root 2. Just like before, we can't just multiply by 4 here. We had to do 4 over 4. So here we have to do root 2 over root 2. Um, so this is type 1. Multiply by the radicand. A cool word, radicand. Okay, now if I do 7, root 7 times root 2, that gives us root 14, and root 2 times root 2 is going to be 2. And we're not going to be able to simplify that because this is on the inside and this is on the outside, so we are done. That's our solution. Okay, so we're going to try these other two out. You can go ahead and pause the video, try them on your own if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and do them. So this first one, 2 root 3 over negative 3 root 5. Again, I want to rationalize the denominator, just the denominator, not the top, okay? So I'm going to multiply by root 5. You don't have to multiply by negative 3 root 5 because the, ne the negative 3 isn't inside of the radical, so it's not the radicand, I'm just multiplying by the radicand. So 2 times root 3 times root 5 is 2 root 15. And negative 3 times 5, because root 5 times root 5 cancels, we get negative 15. Okay? Um, now, if you don't get uh, 
integer in the bottom, then you did it wrong because that's the whole point of doing the rationalizing the denominator is to get rid of the square root, right? So if you have a square root still, then you have to try again. And I can't cancel this because, again, only outsides with outsides and insides with insides, so that's all we can do with that one. Okay, here's one last one. We're going to multiply by root 5 over root 5 again. And we've got two terms in the top. Make sure that you use the distributive property. There's really a secret uh, bracket around here, and we're going to multiply by the root 2 and the negative 3. So we get root 10 minus 3 root 5 over root 5 times root 5 is 5. There you go. Okay, so this is the first type where we basically have one term in the bottom. One term. There's no adding or subtracting or anything. It's just multiply here and nothing over here. So uh, we multiply by the radicand to do that. The next type that we've got, this is the second type, type 2. We've got two terms here. You can see I've got root 3 plus root 6. So two terms. And we want to be able to get rid of them. And we can't just multiply by the radicand because it's not going to um, work for everything. So in order to do it, I'm going to actually use the difference of squares. And I'm going to multiply by the conjugate. Multiply by the conjugate in the top and the bottom. What is the conjugate? Well, oops. <laughs> it's if you remember, the difference of squares is x squared minus y squared is equal to x plus y times x minus y, right? So these two are conjugates of each other. So here you can see I've got root 3 plus root 6. So my x is going to be root 3 and my y is going to be root 6. So I've got this term right here, x plus y. And I'm going to try to get it so that I get root 3 squared minus root 6 squared. So I want to apply, multiply by the other term. So this one has a plus and I want to multiply by the minus. So I'm going to multiply by the conjugate. This is root 3 minus root 6 over root 3 minus root 6 like this. And then I can just multiply it. So 2 times root 3 minus 2 times root 6. Use your distributive property. And now you could do this using FOIL if you want, but um, I know how the difference of squares works, so it's going to be root 3 squared, because that's the first term, root 3 squared, minus root 6 squared, that's the second term. Okay, and so I get 2 root 3 minus 2 root 6, and root 3 squared is 3 minus root 6 squared is 6. And you can skip this step if you like, because you can... Um, pretty easily just jump to 3 minus 6 once you've drawn in the conjugate. And so I'm going to subtract that off, 2 root 3 minus 2 root 6 over negative 3, and that is my solution because I can't divide the 3 out, okay? So outsides with outsides. All right, so let's try this one. You can see it's almost exactly the same, but instead of having the plus, I do have a minus. So if you want, again, you could pause the video whenever you want, try it on your own, see how good you are. It's always a good idea. Root 3 plus root 6, like this. So this is the conjugate now. And I'm just multiplying. So 3 root 2 times root 3 is 3 root 6 plus 3 root 12 over root 3 squared, which is 3, minus root 6 squared, which is 6. So you can see again that I've got this minus in the bottom. I'm always going to have the minus for the difference of squares. That's why it's called the difference of squares. So use the minus always. doesn't matter which one you started with. So 3 root 6 plus 3 root 2, or sorry, root 12. Now 3 root 12 is really 2 root 3, so I'm going to simplify that top plus 6 root 3, like that, over negative 3. And now you can see that I can divide out a 3 from every single term here, so I'm going to simplify it that way. If you like, you can do this extra step and say, okay, I'm going to do a common denominator, or sorry, common factor, root 6 plus 2 root 3 over negative 3, like this, and then I'm going to cancel out the 3's. So this is going to be root 6 plus 2 root 3 over negative 1. Don't forget about that negative 1, because it's going to have to go into the top, like this. And that gives us our solution. Ta-da! So just be careful to simplify. We simplify the insides of the radicals. We also have to simplify the fractions as well. Okay, to get the final answer. Now, again, you can just go ahead and pause the video if you want and try these two questions. Um, in this question, you can do it in 
a couple of different ways. You could use the conjugate if you want, but I like to simplify the square roots as soon as possible. So I know that root 8 is not simplified, so I'm actually going to put 2 over root 2 plus 2 root 2, because root 8 is really 2 root 2, plus 1 over 3. And this ends up being 2 over 3 root 2, right? Plus 1 over 3. And again, now you can go in several different paths. You could find the LCD and then do it and then rationalize, or you can rationalize right away. I like to rationalize right away, so I'm going to do that. So this is root 2 over root 2 on this side. I'm leaving that 1 over 3 alone. Now you can't just leave it off, so make sure you carry it all the way through until you start to use it. It's just going to stay the way it is until you use it. Um, you, can't, you can't get rid of it, okay, because then it's not an equal equation, it's going to be, you know, something else. So that's rough work on the side. So 2 root 2 over 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 over 3. Again, you can find the LCD. However, I can see that I can cancel this 2 and this 6, so I get root 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3. And so I'll put that together over 1 denominator root 2 plus 1 over 3, and that is my solution. Ta-da! All right, one more to go, and again, this one, I can choose to do the LCD first, or I can rationalize it first. I'm going to rationalize it, because I like, I like to do it that way. So I'm multiplying the first one by root 5 over root 5, and so you just get root 10 minus 3 root 5 over 5 plus root 2 plus 4 over 2. Now don't be tempted, I know it's really tempting to cancel the 2 and the 4 from this 2, but you cannot do that. This is on the inside, so watch out, be careful. LCD is going to be 10, so I'm going to multiply this one by 2, so I get 2 root 10 minus 6 root 5 over 10 plus 5 root 2 plus 20 over 10 and I'll put it all together, 2 root 10 minus 6 root 5 plus 5 root 2. There's no common, uh, common like terms, so I can't put anything together over 10. And we can't cancel because there's a 2 here, 2 here, a 2 here, but no 2 here. So there's no common factor in the top, so that's our final solution, and nothing can be simplified in our radical either. Okay, so there you go, that's how you do it. The first type that we did was basically we have one term in the bottom and we multiply by the radicand. And the second type that we did was two terms in the bottom, we multiply by the conjugate and make sure that you simplify all the way. Hope you enjoyed it, bring any questions you have to class, and I'll see you soon. Bye.